So today we are back with a sh new short video on how to install Magento using uh, GitHub Actions. More specifically, um, our GitHub Action, uh, which is called Magento Action. Um, so if you want to avoid all headache, you can simply clone this repo and uh, modify the, this file. Uh, or you can you can create your own uh, GitHub repository, of course, and uh, and just copy the, the content of this uh, file in the appropriate uh, directory, which will be GitHub and workflows, and you can, you can copy past this. Or uh, like I said, you can just clone this repo and push it to your uh, GitHub. Uh, so. Um, to configure the, the, the action itself, a uh, short disclaimer, this, we are still testing this uh, functionality. So uh, we are using master directly, but uh, at the release of the video, you will have to specify the version of the action, of course. And uh, I believe, uh, let me check, it will be 3.8. Yes, we are uh, now we the, the the latest version is 3.7 but the, after this video uh, is released it will be um, 3.8 so you you will have to replace uh, master but by uh, that uh, also you will have to set the composer out i will show how you can do that uh, how where you should do that uh, uh, um, next and then also you have to but if you copy call this uh, copy past this uh, you you will have to specify the magento uh, the version of the magento you would like to 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 install so to test uh, this in live in this video you we are going to specify let's say we want to install to that for that uh, two uh, as you can see, this action will be launched on the push. So I will start this. And as you can see, the action started. It uh, has been launched. So let me just. Uh, so by the end, we, we should have a directory named Magento with the, the source code of the Magento 2.4.2 uh, in it. Uh, in the meanwhile, so um, basically, uh, we ourselves, we use this uh, internally to to test uh, some code or these actions or some of our Magento um, uh, modules so you can use it uh, directly with uh, other actions uh, here like uh, the the build action or the zero downtime action or unit test actions if you don't want to create uh, any type uh, each time a new repository with a source code you can you can just uh, uh, set this action before the, the next action, like uh, here. Uh, like you can just uh, put the, 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 the create project actions as, a for, as the first action and the uh, unit test uh, as the next action to do some unit tests without creating a, a, Magento, a new Magento project or a new uh, GitHub repository, and uh, if that's the way you want to use it, you will have to to tell the action not to push the the source code in the repository. And to do that, uh, we have a specific um, uh, how can I say it uh, argument. You will have to say after the Magento version, you have to specify no push no dash dash uh, dash and push and uh, you have to set it uh, like, uh, like this so uh, no no push that one and in that case 
he will still uh, like here he will still uh, download the uh, magento source code but he will not push it in the in the repository but that this is a disclaimer and it is for specifically devops for uh, normal users who just want to install magento you will just have to follow this process and it will uh, it will download the, the code and push it in your repo and next when when the the source code will be in your repo you can add, you can do a git uh, pull for example, if you're working on Linux and uh, set up the, your the environment mode like you like, like the Nginx, the PHP, and uh, use it for development purpose, you can uh, also use the action for uh, if you want to do a zero downtime deployment, uh, as this repo, this uh, action will create the correct scale folding for that. Um, you can use it uh, also with um, with let's say with uh, Valet Plus and stuff like that. This is it ideal for uh, Magento to beginners. Um, I've heard also about another project uh, similarly, but I never use it. It's uh, I believe it's Mark. Uh, uh, Magento Docker. So this I've heard the good things about this repo. So uh, this one as well, I believe Mark has a website and uh, a lot of video explaining how to use it to install and start development. So that. So let's see how. It is going. Oh, also another disclaimer uh, for those who are not aware. Um, even though I specified uh, to that for that too, I uh, strongly recommend you avoid uh, using uh, this version or. Uh, at the time uh, of this video, this version of uh, Magento uh, 2.3 up to 2.3.3 because uh, this week uh, or this weekend, the, the, the latest weekend, uh, a critical uh, security uh, flow vulnerability has been found and uh, it affects, as you can see, almost all uh, uh, to that three and all uh, to that four version of the magento so the 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 right version to use uh, should be from to that uh, three that seven and uh, and up and for magento to that four to that four that three and up you can also use uh, to that three that uh, o to up to uh, to that uh, three that let's say two <laughs> because uh, I believe the the, the issue uh, has been introduced introduced in the to that three that three. Uh, so uh, let's check how it is going. I believe the action is almost done now. This is kind of slow today. I don't know what's going on. Ah, I forgot because this is a GitHub uh, public action uh, environment. Maybe usually we use our self-hosted uh, um, actions. So five six minutes. 
Where did it set most done? Yes. Oh, my bad. Something went wrong. I don't know what is this. Do you see everything up to date? The remote hung up unexpectedly. No freaking idea what is this. So, unfortunately, we will have to relaunch this. Uh, uh, let's see if that's for that three then. I believe uh, I will I will cut the the build part certainly if I'm not uh, lazy um, because I don't know why this happened. Surely a GitHub uh, GitHub issue. GitHub connection issue. So. Let's start again. So, as you can see, the um, action is done. Everything has been uh, completed in uh, less than five minutes. And uh, as you can see, you will you have your repository with the with the Magento in it. So this concludes uh, this video. Uh, like I said, I will link the the video to. Um, 
to configure the, the Linux environment for your uh, for your Magento if you want to start developing uh, directly with the, using this site. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.